So everybody, welcome back to Wilderness Adventures UK. Today's the day a lot of you have been waiting for, the reveal of the new truck. Stay tuned and I'll show you exactly what it is and exactly what we've got planned. So everybody, this is the vehicle in question. Land Rover 110. Notice I didn't say Defender because this is a pre-Defender. There was a little space of time between the Defender came out and before the, the Series 3 finished where they were just called 90 and 110. This indeed is a, is a 110 uh, and from 1983. So in two years time it will in fact be tax exempt and MOT exempt in the UK. Um, not that I'm not going to get it MOT'd, I'm going to get it MOT'd every year, but you don't have to. I have started doing work on it, but it's mostly been mechanical. Uh, I've operated the dry flanges, which are these things here, hopefully you can see. You'll see when I do a 360 in a minute. The steering bars and the brakes all round, as well as giving it a full service and other mechanical things. Once the mechanical side is done, I am going to start on the interior and hopefully next year, next summertime, finishing with the exterior uh, and updating its looks. Uh, new bonnet, new doors, new colour, new wheel arches. It's, it's going to change quite a lot. So what I'll do right now while I'm sat here is I'll talk about my plans for the future whilst rolling in the footage that I filmed when I first got the vehicle. So as I mentioned, uh, it's going to have a complete facelift on the outside, colour change, it's going to go grey. I won't talk too much and let you into know, knowing what grey, but yeah, it's going to look wicked when it's done. Doors are all going to be uprated to uh, galvanised, slidey windows, because I don't want to have too much to go wrong. I don't want windy windows or electric windows, so they're going to be the slidey windows, which kind of complement the era it came from. It's just after a Series 3. I'm also going to fit a, a roof rack, a homemade roof rack to it, which me and my friend are going to make. And the solar panels are going to fit into the roof rack. And uh, the fridge and the batteries out of the trailer are going to come over to, to the Land Rover. And it's going to be a bit of a support vehicle. The trailer's going to plug into the Land Rover, but it means when I'm under a tree line, I can still drive the Land Rover out and charge the batteries which seemed like a good idea. Interior wise, I'm not going to be doing too much. I'm going to, um, it's got a saggy roof lining, so I'm going to rip that out uh, and maybe put a lighter roof lining on it because at the moment it's black and uh, yeah, it's quite dark and dingy in here. So I want to lighten it up a little bit. Uh, I have started fitting a Raptor dash, which is something I'm going to be working on today. But uh, yeah, there's wires everywhere. I've got new switches for it. I've wired up all my USBs. I do need a head unit and the vehicle does need speakers, which I've bought and hopefully going to be fitting today. But uh, yeah, in a nutshell, I'm not going to do too much to the interior. The vehicle did come with some um, MX-5 uh, bucket-esque seats, which I'm toying with the idea of fitting, but I do like the Exmoor seats. They give you access to, to what's under the seat boxes which uh, you need to kind of have access to in a Land Rover. So I'm torn between two minds whether to operate it for a comfier, um, more hugging seat or whether to leave the standard seats in. Uh, the rear seats are already fitted when I got it. They're Ford C-Max seats and they do tilt forward and uh, recline and do all sorts. So uh, I've toyed with the idea of fitting a bed in the back. So when I'm doing like one day as, instead of taking the trailer, I can just take the Land Rover and sleep in the back of it. Um, it has got a goal wing on the side, uh, which a table hitches to. And yeah, the intentions are to have the fridge inside the goal wing. So I can, I can basically cook off, you know, I can take my lightweight stuff with me, a little stove and stuff, and I can cook off, off the side table and have my fridge and everything. But it's also going to have a uh, swing down table on the back door. But um, they're all ideas at the moment. I'm still toying with the idea, uh, ideas a lot because um, obviously it's going to be quite expensive so we do have to do a lot of saving but uh, yeah that is in a nutshell the vehicle I'll do a quick 360 right now I'll jump out show you the exterior then I'll show you the interior what it looks like now not that it's updated much from the footage I just played but uh, yeah this is the front you can see the new A-bar the gull wing I spoke of is just on the passenger side just here so this is the gull wing obviously opens upwards and then you can have access to everything inside and it gives you a little bit of shelter. Although there is going to be an awning that comes and covers the full side of this vehicle. These little brackets here, there's one, two there, is where the uh, stainless steel table hooks onto, which is housed in the back. I'm not going to show you the back because it's just full of crap at the moment. 
but that's the back end. You'll see that it does actually need the doors quite badly. A couple of the doors are corroded quite bad. And this is this side. I was going to try and show you underneath and show you what I've been working on. It's got operated brake discs. It has got the new dry flanges, heavy duty dry flanges all around. Can you see that just there? But when I got under the vehicle before, it's just dark under there. You can't see anything. Um, but yeah, operated the driving, uh, the, the driving bars. I can't remember what they're called, the actual names. Um, operated the brakes on the front, put them onto grooved, vented, drilled discs on the front. Back is still on drums and we're still working on that end. Um, there's very little mechanical work to do on it. Um, it's more cosmetics now and interior. In fact, I'll show you, I'll show you the, uh, the Raptor dash and the mess I've got it in at the moment. Flick the camera around. I'm going to go quiet for a few seconds. But uh, yeah, that's my dashboard at the moment, which is something I'm going to be working on today, as well as doing a few jobs on the trailer. All right, guys, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. I hope you can uh, envisage it as well as I can. I'm going to try and show you as much as I can on the channel as I'm progressing. But uh, yeah, there she is in all her glory. I hope she's uh, everything you, uh, you've waited for because you've been very patient. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this video here and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. You all take care.